Hi guys, my name is Zwanda, Zwanda Rasiwara, and today I'm recording first of many, hopefully, uh, videos that I'll be talking about um, financial topics. Um, so this would be topics that I have learned throughout my own personal financial journey that I believe could be of help to you guys. I hope this journey is going to be exciting and of value add to both mine and your life. So today's topic is um, budgeting and around budgeting, I'm going to cover two subtopics, which is what budgeting is and why it is important. So the reason why I chose this topic is because I believe that it's in the beginning of the year and uh, most of us are still figuring out what our resolution is for the year. And I believe that, you know, we can just, or I just wanna encourage us to include budgeting as part of our resolution. And trust me, you won't regret it. Um, and I strongly believe that for you to be able to have control over your finance and be able to effectively manage your finance, you need a tool that will help you to go about it. And budgeting is one of the good tools that can help you so uh let's get to it um so what is budgeting so um budgeting is actually the creation of a spending plan right so the way it goes is that you consolidate your expenses that could be your car installment your uh, home loan your subscription fees and also consolidate your income. It could be your salary, it could be profit from your business if you have a business and you balance the two. So the objective of this exercise is to make sure that you actually spend less than your earn. So the total expenses should be or must be less than the total of your income, right? And um, uh, you reevaluate your expenses, you go through your expenses and your income and you reevaluate them. And uh, I would like to encourage you to categorize your expenses from the necessary, that could be your mandatory fixed expenses and nice to have expenses, which could be your subscription or your data payment and your unnecessary expenses that could be um, lots of airtime as well as maybe lots of takeaways right so what you do is that you reallocate your unnecessary expenses to areas where are uh, more aligned to your uh, financial personal goals right um and i also want to talk about uh on adding to what budgeting is i also want to talk about the implementation of of it so it's not only the creation of the budget of the budget uh sheets or budgeting document there is also the implementation side of things and i believe that this is where uh the success is is it's key for the success of budgeting so uh you want to make sure that you're disciplined and the way you do that is by doing your budgeting consistently so it could be monthly it could be bi-weekly whichever is suitable for you so um and also this is key because it just allows you to adjust your budget and make it fit for your personal uh, budgeting plans on a monthly basis and also it helps you to not be able to be surprised right uh, because they are expenses that don't come on a monthly basis but they may come after every two months so you are able to cater for those expenses um, on a month to month basis so then i'm gonna go to uh our second topic which is why expense which is why uh budgeting is important which is yes why budgeting is important uh so before i can get into it i just like to uh, talk about uh, the misconception of uh budgeting is only for people who are struggling financially and i actually do not believe in this because there are a lot of people who are called high earners and they actually um they actually uh, are struggling like they have nothing to show for and also on a month after every uh, month end they are taking loans to patch up for things on the previous month so i believe that budgeting is is for everyone and it just helps you to just live within your means so there is no budgeting as for struggling people although people who are struggling financially may need budgeting uh, a lot more uh it, it can also help you even when you are high and uh yeah but i do believe that people with a lot of money have a lot of flexibility uh on their budget so maybe yes we do need it more but budgeting in all essences for everyone so i would like to highlight three points 
uh, that uh, talks about why it is important. And number one point would be you get to understand your relationship with money. So there's something called money behavior. So that's where you identify your money. Um, you identify that behavior as you assess your expenses you get to see what kind of buyer you are and you are uh, you start to work on those habits you start to spot um, your patterns of purchase and be able to make adjustment to suit uh, what you want to achieve financially and another one is that saving for the future right that's the second point so most of us want to retire early uh, some just want to go on a vacation so budget allows you to be able to save up for those things um, you are able to allocate a certain percentage of your income and be able to put it for uh, for additional uh, um, amount on your retirement annuity or retirement plan uh, or you're able to set up a certain percentage of money and be able to edit and save it for your uh, vacation if you want to go on vacation, right? So last but not least, it allows you to be debt free. Who doesn't want to be debt free, right? So um, you are able to see uh, places where you spend more money if you're overspending, if you're spending more than you have. So therefore, you are able to adjust your behavior and be able to uh, make your income accommodate all your expenses. Some Sometimes you are able to um, identify high spending items and kind of redistribute them to be able to uh, patch up for the debts that you already have or debts that you think are important for you to cover up, right? So that will be it from me. I believe that you guys have learned uh, something because I actually did. Uh, but before I can go, I just want to uh, say... Um, uh, yeah, I actually enjoy doing this and I hope you guys did too. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>